We've had um, open-air stadiums cooled since 2007, 2008 in El Sad Stadium. Uh, what we're working right now is to make that more environmentally friendly. And uh, we've had some very successful trials. We've had some very successful um, prototypes. And introducing them into large stadiums is not going to be an issue. Um, I'm not saying that. I, uh, these are actual experts and engineers and researchers that are saying that. I think the cooling technology in itself is a legacy. It, I think, opens the horizons for countries who felt that the weather is a hindrance. And I think it will be life-changing for people who want to host mega events. And it doesn't necessarily have to be sports. It could be cultural, musical um, events if you want to host them outdoors and you, suffer, and you have a tropical climate where the weather is 32, 33 throughout the year, you will be able to benefit from this cooling technology. And one thing that we've committed to do is to assist and help in sharing what we know and what can assist uh, nations that want to use cooling technology to, to cool outdoor spaces.